Welcome back, Random TV Reviews, your girl, Lynette. And it's your boy, Stanley. All right, this is something different. We're going to actually do a review for Coming to America 2, so we're not going to recap it. If you haven't watched it, then that skit is on you. Yeah. But let's go ahead and get right into it. What I will say is off the rip, I had no intentions of watching this anytime soon. Like my family, my friends were like, Lynette, you're gonna watch Coming to America too. And I was like, at some point I'll get around to it. But it definitely wasn't something that was on my radar to watch anytime soon. I'm gonna be the first person to say, I'm so glad that I made it a point to watch it over the weekend. I did not realize it was exactly what I needed this weekend. Like, mm -hmm. I don't know if it's on, it's because I'm on my whole black power skit, black generational wealth, um, black people being portrayed in positive imagery, imagery, bleh, I can't talk. <laughs> imagery. Imagery, yeah, y'all got it. As I showcased it today, I don't have a hard work day, y'all. So I don't know if it was all of that coming together and just being placed in my lap. And it was just one of those things where I was like, dang, we really doing it. Like, we really are doing it. But I'm going to say that um, I didn't have any great expectations for the movie as well. It wasn't until, like, the, you know, towards it get ready to come out and everybody was talking about it. So I was like, you know, I'll check it out. Mm -hmm. And my name, my thing was, don't buck it up. That was my thing, you know. I wouldn't expect for them to do it like the original one because in that case, we we would, you know, you know, you're still doing a part two if it's going to be just like the original. Mm -hmm. All in all, I really did really enjoy it. It was some things I didn't enjoy, but overall, I really enjoyed it. Then when I thought about what Eddie Murphy was able to do, 30 years later, mm -hmm. able to give, and I went and looked at some facts, over 6,000 jobs wow. to the black community, you know, others too. He made it a point to use black real estate, black production company, oh. Tyler Perry Studios. He made it a point that everyone that was alive from the First original, coming yeah. to America was present in the second. Yeah. And then everyone that he brought on board, you could tell that he was setting them up for the next 30. Was it in comparison to coming to America 1? Mm -hmm. No. No. No, no, no. And what we have to think about is we were 30 years younger. Right. The Whole different era of time too yeah the mindset that we had then we <clears throat> don't have that now mm -hmm. now we're in more of a entertain me and make me laugh generation so if you put something in my lap although it can we can get some wisdom nuggets from it mm -hmm. we can we can learn a few things from it we can see some positive black people from it are you gonna make me laugh though i felt like he was able to embody everything that a black audience needed to be able to just sit there with your family, your mm. friends. Multi-generations sat there and watched this together. People got together and had whole coming to America parties right. at their home. Like it was the Super Bowl. Can y'all see how powerful that really was in right. the grand scheme of things? And you know, and I do know that there's a mixed audience. Some people say they hated mixed, it. It was clownery. Yeah. It was foolery. Yeah. But I think they did really well as far as incorporating the old with the new. Mm -hmm. Making it relevant. Yeah, making today. it relevant. You know, like when they was in, you know, when they came <laughs> back to um, Queens, New York, they were trying to get a taxi. He was like, no, 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 no. You can't get it. You can't get it this way. You need to use the app and, get a and make sure code. you get a promo code. So, you know, 30 years ago, they was able to stop a cab. So how things change. Yeah, gentrification. Like yeah. when they came back to Queens. The, they only were thing like, was what? A, the only thing that was the same was the barbershop. <laughs> Does a barbershop ever change? I don't give a darn who moves next door. The barbershop is... This is the barbershop. <laughs> That's how it is, yo. And I like that they even shaded themselves <laughs> in the uh, movie. Like there were times where they was like, I don't even know why in the world. Why would you redo a second one when there was nothing wrong, wrong with, with the, the first, first one? one. Yeah. So to be able to make references like that, yeah. it allowed you to know that they knew that this was coming. Yeah, They even thought this thing through, but we gonna do it anyway. And we gonna do it with excellence. Right. And I just thought it was good. I love some of the parallels that they did with both of the characters. Um, 
Prince Akeem and then his son, Lavelle Johnson. Yep. And how at the end of the day, they both decided that they weren't going to go with tradition. Mm -hmm. They were both going to break the mold and they were going to go and find love on their yeah. own. And yeah. they were going to do things their way. Yeah. So I was like, I really love the parallels. I love, I don't know if y'all even, even thought about this, but I love the elephant. How when we first saw the elephant, he was a baby little elephant back in the what day. And then look, 30 years later, he's a father mm -hmm. with a whole family of his own. And I was like, there was just little tie-ins that I really enjoyed with that. Yeah, and this would trip me out. <laughs> Was when it was in Queens, Simi wanted to get some puss so goddamn bad that you'd have set up your goddamn to be king with a date and he got raped and drugged. I was getting ready to say that was one of my <laughs> things that I did not like. Yeah, that was a little over the top because we know in real life. And it was offensive. Was, yeah, that would have never, you know, happened. You know, you bring oh, a king to America well, and he yeah. get raped. <laughs> yeah. And see, here's the thing. And this is the lens I looked at that from is Akeem was a female in that position. Everybody would be outraged. Oh, like, yeah. how oh, yeah. dare you bring, how how dare my friend take bring me bring on a the double queen, day? Bring the queen to queen and she get raped. And she get raped. Yeah. I was like, why did they put that in there? Like, I knew they had to bring a son in some kind of way that he didn't feel like he knew how the son got here. But I'm like, there could have been another way. Like, I was, but I, I was just, tore up, but and it, I did it willingly. Like, yeah, it was a, it was the comedic part. They was trying to, you know, be funny. I love the fact that um, the son is from the DMV. So shout out to Jermaine Fowler. Yeah, you did the darn thing. Right I, on. I look the hairstyle. I was get like, mm, it's giving me Killmonger vibes. I ain't know if I yeah, like that. Yeah, and that's so I was watching it when when they had to go get Lavelle um in Queens. I was like, please don't follow the storyline of Black Panther when they had to go get um, Killmonger and he wanted to come back and tear up Wakanda, you know, to get his rifle fight. So I actually thought Lavelle was gonna be the same way. Like, oh, I am a prince. All right, let me come back and tear up, tear up freaking uh, Zamunda <laughs> to get my place back. So I'm glad that they didn't follow that storyline. But did y'all see how that plane came in hot though? I said, boy, black I people. Just need, I just need one ride on that 14 karat gold plane. <laughs> I said, black people be doing the God darn most. A whole, a whole gold out plane Hell just coming yeah. to land in Queens. That's how we do though. When we get money, we just show. <clears throat> coming to America to get his son just seemed a little too easy. It was like, oh, follow the, what was it? The Falcon? What was it? The, yeah, some, yeah, the Thunderbird. Follow the Thunderbird. Follow the Thunderbird or something like that, and you'll find your son. I was like, that happened like in 2.5 seconds. Yeah. While right. you're at it, because you got the free time, stop by more and get a swab, because we need <laughs> to find out if he really owes. Right. But I did like that what it portrayed was black fathers coming back in people's lives and not coming with no baggage but i come to bring you an inheritance to bring give you, you a better in, life to give, give you, a better, you a better life no yeah. questions asked take your rightful position right. in the kingdom and I, I did like that although it's not so even though he did <laughs> even though he thought it was bs until the gold bars and that money fell out that got doing briefcase come on that he now. was like he was like that's, uh, that's mama uh we going we going yeah pack your bags we going i know that's right <laughs> few things that I did like the witch and all that spitting I said if oh, that witch spits one, one more, more time, time yeah I'm yeah. going to yeah, lose they it. Could, yeah they could have left that out then Mika how she was preparing to take the um throne after her father's passing and of course well we know how it ended but throughout I was like how you gonna do this girl like, like that, that. Mm -hmm. how you, the daddy did the daddy commit suicide y'all how do you say my my funeral is gonna be fantabulous but you there. Yeah, you did. And you died, you died on right in the middle. Yep. I said, Dad committed suicide. I mean, yeah. how you do that? But you know what's going to end up happening, though? You're going to have cats going to be like, I want I want my funeral before I die. Mm -mm. Like, what? Mm -mm. No. Nope. Nah, that's, yeah. But I did. I like how they made it relatable. They <laughs> Black brand, Ciroc. Yep. Crown, which we know they're not black, black, but they black enough, you know. Also, I don't know how I feel about them making Zamunda hood. I didn't like that. Yes. I mean, because that, yeah. that's not who we are. Yes. I understood what they were trying to do, but I don't view Zamunda as the hood. I would say the, the thing that probably was the worst about the whole thing for us was, was they waited to the end to address uh, the mama, like where she was. We know in real life that she actually died, but 
they didn't address into the movie until um the McDowell guy was like, what was your mama do in this situation? That's that's where they left it. So we was like, you know. Yeah, it was it was never addressed. We're like, God, <laughs> rest your mom's soul. There could have been a scene where they was at the grave site. Like, yeah. there could have been so many ways to tie it into what happened to her. I mean, we figured it out. So but, maybe it wasn't needed. It might They might have did this, did it like that so that we can talk about it like this. You never know. At the end of the day, what I did enjoy about it was... They made it a point to show us that although there are traditions in place, although that there are rules and the way that things are supposed to go with any lineage, there is room for things to change, change. Yes. when thing when the process is broken. What if he didn't have a son? Then we got this state where we have these arranged marriages and you got Tiana Taylor's character getting ready to be very serious. Yeah, I didn't yeah, I didn't like I didn't like that part either with mm -hmm. her acting like the first girl because she she we didn't saw look like, Tiana. Yeah, we <laughs> didn't see that. It was like, whatever you like, like not Tiana. What? Tiana be like, take this. <laughs> and she she did. She brought a little bit of that flair into it as well. And I love that Rick Ross yeah. was like, Y'all having this at my house. Ugh. I'm gonna be in it too. Yeah, Girl, that's Wesley Snipes. Yeah, so I didn't expect. Yeah, the I didn't. Walk. Ex yeah, I didn't expect for Tiana to have that type that of, role. Yeah, especially like you know she come in singing and dancing, you know, doing her thing, and then that when, was a when, lot. when come time for you to y'all do y'all thing, whatever you like, whatever you like. I said, how you change from being <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> to whatever you like, and then at the end of the day, <clears throat> that he decided that he was gonna empower his daughter. And he was like, this is probably going to be the best thing that I do. And I apologize. You have you have earned your right. So I, I thoroughly enjoyed it. Matter of fact, I watched it twice. And yeah, I watched well, nothing twice. <laughs> yeah. So all in all, yeah. All in all, I really enjoyed it. I, it gave me a good laugh. And I guess you got to ask yourself at the end of the day, if you take away part one, would you really have liked part two? I like how you said that. Because you're comparing it to that. So if you take away part one, how do you think about it? I think... Eddie Murphy and the cast, which y'all did, we appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Keep doing your thing, brother. Keep on moving That's forward, it. man. Salute. Yes, indeed. Straight from the VA. The dirty, dirty south. Two up, two down. Holla. Holla. Boom.